It's a historic day in Arlington, not only for the Grand Falls Royalty Cowboys, but for the six-man football community. As for the first time, they played their state championship games right here at AT&T Stadium. Now, for the Cowboys, it was their first ever state title appearance, coming from a school with just 26 students, making Grand Falls Royalty the second smallest high school with a football program in the state of Texas. But those of us in the Permian Basin know that no matter how small Grand Falls is, they pack a punch, and they took it to Milford this afternoon. The six-man Division II finale, Grand Falls came in on a 13-game winning streak, having shut out six opponents in the process. The Cowboys would start with the ball on offense, and it's Thomas Burns getting Grand Falls off to the hot start. Dropping back to pass, Burns will make a few defenders miss, and he is off to the races. Burns barrels inside the 20-yard line, and Grand Falls royalty will cap off the drive a few plays later. Gilbert Nunes finds Julian Helms off the play action. The Cowboys take an 8-0 lead. Milford forced a punt, and Grand Falls royalty continues to impress early. Here's Junior Marquez taking the pitch right up the middle for the long gain. Clearly no jitters early for the Cowboys, and the balance attack rolls on in the first quarter. Burns connects with Nieves Rodriguez, a big day receiving for the sophomore. That score puts Grand Falls up 16-0. The Cowboys were exceptional on defense today, but Milford did not have an answer for Marquez and Grand Falls. Here's the senior on his first trip to the end zone. 162 yards, two scores on the ground for Marquez in the first half alone. Grand Falls Royalty would take a 30-0 lead before Milford could put some points up on the board. Total domination for the Cowboys who grabbed their first state title in the history of the program today. Taking a look at some headlines from today, the Heisman Trophy ceremony is set for tonight at 7. 2012 winner Johnny Manziel said this week that he did not vote for himself in the first or second place spot. 19-year-old Florida State quarterback Jameis Winston is the clear-cut favorite tonight. Winston told reporters that he has been taking advice from Manziel all week. That's a scary thought. The Dallas Cowboys are at home tomorrow right here at AT&T Stadium against the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay announced Friday that Pro Bowl quarterback Aaron Rodgers will be on the sidelines once again as he deals with a collarbone injury. Matt Flynn will start for the Packers. Looking at the Texans, Houston's interim head coach Wade Phillips said this week that Case Keenum and the Texans offense spent twice the amount of time working on plays in the red zone. Keenum is 0-7 as a starter and Phillips associates that with the quarterback's lack of experience running the team's hurry-up offense. We'll have a closer look at tonight's game at 10 along with post-game interviews from our champions. But first, there's more coming up on CBS 7 News at 6. From AT&T Stadium, I'm Marshall Hughes. We'll be right back.